Hey guys, so I decided to come to you guys and share this amazing dairy-free ice cream. As you know, I'm a pescatarian and I do non-dairy. And I want to share with you when I get things that are like really tasty. Because I know a lot of you may have sweet tooths like me. A sweet tooth like me. And it's hard to find things that taste good that are usually taking away the dairy or the sugar or, you know, the fat, the carbs, you know, uh gluten and stuff like that so listen i went to a phil fresh market or uh, um this was some weeks ago so i had this not even yeah about two weeks ago and i just been sleeping on this ice cream and i'm like oh wow i want something sweet i forgot i had this in the freezer so i went to go try it oh my lord listen I took a, I like to eat my ice cream. I told you guys with a little, a little spoon, my little Ikea spoon. But look, let me show y'all what it looks like. Hold on. So I did take some scoops and this is what it looks like. I'm sorry. This is my chill day, but I said that when I eat certain stuff, I want to share and I didn't want to wait too long to share this with you guys, but I can't even explain. It's oatmeal cookie right and this is dairy free so you know what's so delicious it's made with i believe coconut milk if i'm not mistaken hold on let's see so i can show you guys exactly what's in it and i usually eat some bites of it and i'll put it back in the freezer because it is mine so it's three servings per container so that's what you have 760 calories if you feel like you want to binge and eat this <laughs> so that's the sugar the carbs and yeah, blah, blah, blah. For those of you who want to say stuff about certain things, when you transition in, anything is better than something that was worse, like eating um, dairy. Um, things from an animal. And like I said, I want to transition out of even um, not even eating the actual seafood to where I'm just full blown vegan. But for right now, these are the things I'm sharing in my transition with you guys. Um, and like I said, I'm not going to eat this whole thing. So I'll probably eat a couple more scoops of it and then that'll be that. So let's see. Hold on. Let's see what we have. I had to cut the light on. And this little thing was $7.86. And it's oat milk. Okay, so oat milk. This is made with oat milk, not coca. Wow. You see everything that's in it. I wanted to share that. Organic coconut oil, organic Topeka syrup, organic brown sugar, filtered water, rolled oats, blah, 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 blah. So you see it? But yes, this... Oh, let's see what it looks like with the light on it. Now the... This is what it looks like. And let me tell you something. If you like butter pecan, butter pecan, or maple walnut, or something along that lines that's what it tastes like it's really weird but that's what it tastes like to me like a butter pecan maple walnut um that almond ice cream from ha Hagen dazs vanilla almond something around those lines so if that's something you're looking forward to when you are dairy free and trying to find something else to put in your arsenal when you have a sweet tooth in your freezer um i recommend you try this so i wanted to share that with you guys it is really good non-dairy frozen dessert and yeah check out your whole foods or any um like specialty health food markets around you ours came from was it feel right or feel fresh feel right that's what it's called feel right market i don't know if that's just up here but feel right market is where i got this from and whole foods may have it um i don't know if trader joe's will have it i know whole foods and trader joe's are starting to phase out on selling other products and starting to get their own stuff so i don't know try it and see and let me know all right talk to you guys later gators